one NEC APC that I've had lying around thinking it didn't work or that I damaged it or that all my floppy disks were rubbish but since somebody called Larry sent me a disk and since I spent a lot of time cleaning on the heads on the disk drives these things um, it seems to be working let's power it up and then the least I can do is show people on the forum the fact that it works after all their help this particular disc has got MS-DOS 2.11 on it but it's also got um, a multi-plan program in the auto exec bat or the config sys file is set to automatic, automatically start it um, as I no idea what pre, please enter company number to be processed try random numbers and it just comes up with sorry that's the wrong number but if you press if you hold down control and break it carries on and gets you to a DOS prompt you type D I R slash W you get a listing of what's on the disk. This is the most I've had from this computer since I've had it. Well it's not quite true. The most I've had, which I've realised since cleaning the heads, is that practically all of the disks that came with it do actually work, although well they're they're readable. A few of them have errors on them. Even even that one, that one never worked in the past. That's the um, the test disk that tests all the different functions of the the machine itself. Even that one works. So all my issues and problems on the uh, vintage computer forum that I've been bothering and bugging people with. It's all really been down to very dirty disks, and although I've cleaned them repeatedly in the past, I mustn't have cleaned them enough. Enough. I've cleaned them with a mixture of um, methylated spirits and cock buds, and then putting this into the drive and manually moving the head backwards and forwards on there with some methylated spirits, and also spinning the disk manually from side to side. And that seems to have done the trick. Um, I've managed to make a copy of this this disk, so I have several copies of this. I don't seem to have complete MS DOS disks. This is sort of disks with the more important and day-to-day -day usable functions of MS-DOS, like it's got the auto exec bat files and the config sys files, it's got format and disk copy, it's got what you need to run the printer, uh, I've got word stuff somewhere and I've started that up for the first time and that seems to have a facility, but it's all set up for the printer that came with this machine and the printer is at the bottom of that box somewhere, so I'm quite pleased. I shall leave it there for now and perhaps do a more detailed video later. Thank you all for your help.